Hello again, Karen Hardy. <laughs> They love you to bits. Abby and Aliash did a foxtrot on Saturday. It was magnificent. Uh, praise from the judges, but Craig was a little bit extra picky and said that Abby's foot sickle uh, on the back step. Her foot sickled on the back steps. So what did he mean by that? What we're after in ballroom is control from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes. Um, but what I'm concerned about here is I thought she was okay with her footwork, but I've picked up on something which I'm concerned why the judges are not mentioning it yet. Can you see this great big gap that's between the two oh, of them? Now, okay. gapping is something that we want to pick up on early days. A sickle foot, you know, that takes hours and hours of training the passing of the feet. Feet. But something like gapping is what we need to get mastered early days. And I am concerned that it's not being brought up and I want them to just hear about it, do something about it. So later on when they're still okay. in the show. So she's got to push herself in. She's so tiny though. I she's so know, slim. But partnering, ballroom yeah. dancing is all about the perfect harmony of those two bodies moving together. Beautiful poetry it is. Uh, ben and Christina in their quick step. Len felt that the business at the top with the popcorn and the couch, he felt it had gone on a bit too long. Would you agree with him? This is a dancing show and we want to see them dance. You know, admittedly, look, if it takes a smack round the head with a pillow to get some life into Ben, absolutely oh, brilliant because it worked. It worked. Yeah. He came alive. Oh, you know, we saw that gorgeous smile and we saw him moving across the dance floor, which is what we've been after. The other thing that was quite interesting in this was the repetition of chassés that were taken all the way around the floor. He's light, he's crisp, he can move across that dance floor. I potentially would like to see it a little bit more complex and complicated. I think he can do it. He's used to working as a team with a lot of difficult movements. He can do more than he's doing out there. Susanna and Kevin and their American Smooth. Um, Darcy though commented that Susanna lacked a little confidence with her lifts. Now with the successful lifts, how much is confidence and how much is technique? 98% is all technique. You need to get the timings together right as we see here and if you get it slightly wrong it will all go absolute disaster as we know that great mm -hmm. word. Um, what I find sometimes with Susanna can be a little bit kamikaze. She has the opposite problem. She will throw herself into something 110% and hope that it will come out the other side. Now, you need that on this show. You need to believe in your professional and commit to the choreography. But sometimes it can look a little bit rough around the edges because she's thinking what's coming ahead rather than living the moment. If you do a lift, get the timing right, get the delivery and exit the movement together before you start thinking about the next Beautiful. action. Uh, Fiona and Anton in the quick step. The judges all very pleased to see an improvement in our Fiona. But Bruno said there were a couple of mistakes in the footwork that she covered up well. Did you notice? Oh, there were some little mistakes in there and I think it came about uh, due to the acting and we see this several times. So we got the whole hanky coming out so you have to stop the movement of the dance. You have to get into this acting mode and then you've got to pick the steps back up and you can see even there there's a little error in the foot patterns and that would catch the eye of the judges because there wouldn't be that natural progress together. There would be a little hiccup. Mark and Aveta and their waltz. The judges love this very, very much indeed. A uh, few comments though about Mark's posture and his frame. Bruno said that it's hard to deliver a perfect top line with a waltz. Why is this? Well, the waltz, what we had here, there was a lot of simple steps, the basic steps of the waltz. So again, you're always exposing uh, your celebrity. That said, the way the audience are warming to him is so beautiful because he's delivering it so simple. There's no gadgets, there's no gizmos here. He's literally coming out onto the dance floor and doing that what Yvette is demanding of him. What we saw here though is something that we need to introduce to him. It's called CBM, which is contra body movement. Right. So what tends to happen, if mm -hmm. we're moving in a straight line, is absolutely fine. But as soon as we need to step outside partner or make a move around our partner we can't move the arm to move the partner which is what we're seeing an encouragement of his arm moving what he's got to learn is move. contra body movement yeah. which allows the body to turn the feet continue going in one direction the body stays connected with the partner and the frame is not disturbed so it's just something else that we would hope to start introducing otherwise it will start looking stiff and again the arm Comes will try to make out. the movement okay. but a beautiful graceful dance well simple Please. Well see. done, Mark and Iveta. And well done, you, Karen Hardy. We will see you next week. Here's what she Thank you. Thank you to all my guests.